Welcome back to part two of the A10 Thunderbolts tutorial series, where we will be making the wings, the main wings right here, these uh, stubby things that keep the plane flying. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is turn on my screencast keys because that'll make it a lot easier for you to see stuff. And I'm going to hit Shift A, and under Mesh, I'll select a cube. And you'll, you'll get a cube, as you can probably expect. So I'm going to go into the back view, and I'm going to hit S to scale it down. And I'm going to hit G, Z, and move it up. And don't get uh, this wing confused with the horizontal stabilizer right here, uh, this thing these bits, uh, and a way that you can do that is just go into your uh, annotations tool and draw this thing right here to remind you that you're, you're only using this line right here, okay? So we're gonna hit S and scale it down, G, Z, move it down, S, scale, and now we're in the right place. So I'm gonna hit tab to go into edit mode, and then I'm gonna hit number pad period key to focus in on it. And I'm going to hit three to go into face select mode. And I'm gonna select this face right here. And I need to hit G and X. And I'm going to move O, uh, hit O to disable the the proportional editing. G, X, and move it right here, okay? And now I can uh, hit E, and I'm gonna extrude it all the way to right here. And I'm gonna hit S to scale it down, G, Z, and scale it up. And for this last part, it's pretty tricky. We're going to hit E, S, R, E, S, R, G, R, E, S, R, G, S, R, G, E, R, S, G, E, S. And now you should have a pretty good hooky thing right here. Uh, just as a little... Um, lesson right here. This is to keep air from flowing out from under the wings, increasing range. Dun dun dun. Okay, uh, now I can just go to my annotations and erase this horrible line I made. Uh, yeah, okay. So, now we have this, and I'm gonna go into top view. Uh, oopsie. I'm going to top view, and I'm going to go and select this. Oopsie. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, wait. Oh, okay. I'm going to select this right here, this thing. And I'm going to hit, um, S and wait a minute. Okay, I'm going to hit A, G, Y, and move it forward to fairly in the center. And then I'm going to select this thing. Mm, this, th this. Uh, okay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I'm gonna select all of these right here. You'd think it would be easier, but what? Okay, I deselected them. Okay. Uh, okay. S Y, and I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna scale them up. Okay. So S, Y, and I'm gonna scale them up. Okay, okay, yeah. And then I'm gonna select these. Perfect. S, Y, and I'll scale them up like this. <clears throat> now this is the tricky part right here, okay? What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna select this one right here, and we're gonna hit S, Y, and we're gonna scale it up. That's the easy part, okay? 
going to just move it over here and get it to look good. Now we got to edit all these other ones because this obviously won't do. So we're going to select this next one and we're going to hit SY, scale it up all the way to here. Pretty tricky, eh? Now we're going to select this one, <laughs> SY, and scale it up all the way to here, and then G, Z, uh, G, Y, and move it back. Then I'll select this one, S, Y, G, Y, and getting close, S, Y, G, Y. And then this last one, just select both of these and G, Z, O, Y, and move it back and then S, scale it up. And now we have this really ugly thing. So we're gonna select this one right here and we're gonna hit G, uh, and Y and move it forward. This one, G, Y and move it forward. And now we have a much more realistic looking thing right here. Dang, that actually looks mm, a lot better than how I did it when I tested this. Okay. And uh, now what we have to do is we're gonna go into the, ew, we're gonna go in the back view. And we're gonna hit tab in edit mode. And we're gonna box select all, ew, we're gonna box select all these faces right here. And we're gonna hit S, Z, and we're gonna scale them down. And then we're gonna hit R and rotate them like so. And now they're very nicely uh, scaled like this, okay? And now we're gonna hit Control R and we're gonna click right here. And then I again, oh, I'm gonna just box select this thing, okay? Get it all box selected up like this. And just deselect these two. Make sure all the necessary ones are selected. No unnecessary ones like I might know. So I'm just gonna select these two leading edge ones and I'm gonna hit O for proportional editing. And I'm gonna hit S, O, 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 S, Z, and scale them slightly down. Okay. And then I'm gonna hit R, uh, R, Y, and rotate them just a slice bit. Looking good. And now I can go over here back to the modifier section. Add modifier and subdivision surface. If it'll load. Um, my computer is slow right now. Yay, it loaded like it's supposed to. Who would have known? And now we can see that this is nowhere near the thickness that we need it anymore. So we're going to tab into edit mode. And we can see that this is actually this editing is no longer accurate. So I'm going to hit alt and select this one right here. Now I'm going to hit S Z and scale it up to where it should be, which is right here. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to hit control R and add one right here. Now this looks good. Perfect. We have a wing. It is an A10 wing and it will serve us well. Okay, so I'm going to hit control R and I'm going to move this right here. Control R, move this right here. I'm going to hit A and I hit S, Z and just scale the whole thing up actually. Cause that seems like the only good solution. 
and just control R and get everything to look the way it's supposed to, like it's supposed to in the first place. And that looks like a wing, okay? It is a good wing. Don't judge me on that, okay? Thank you. Now, thankfully the A10 does not have very complicated uh, uh, control surfaces right here. So we're gonna tab into edit mode, Alt Z to go into X-ray mode. And right here, I'm gonna take my annotations tool and I'm just gonna carefully draw this out right here. Perfect. Now we can see this and I'm gonna go to the knife tool, select this right here. And I'm going to go the way my annotations tell me to go. Perfect. And I'm going to do it again right here. Oh, if I'll just really quick hide this. Uh, go the way my annotations tell me to go like this. Now it looks really weird, so I'm going to select this, 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 and I'm going to select this, 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 and this still looks kind of weird. I don't know why, um, maybe, what if? Hmm. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna do, <laughs> we're gonna select, uh, okay, we're not gonna do that. Don't do that. Uh, hang on. That's not gonna work. Uh, we'll do the control surfaces later. Um, cause I think there is a little bit more that needs to be done, but let's shade smooth this. Shade smooth this, shade smooth, made smooth ish. Um, and now we look good. So now I'm gonna add a mirror modifier. And this is really where the thing comes in because I'm gonna set the origin to geometry right here. And I'm gonna hit add modifier, mirror. And then under the mirror object, I'm gonna select the mirror object, okay? And now we have two lovely wings, right? Doesn't that look good? Um, anyway. Okay, so what I have to do is right here, you can see that this is really quick. Um, this windshield, you can see that's marked as fuselage 001. I'm going to rename this as cockpit windows. And then I'm gonna do this one, the, the this one right here. I'm gonna name this wings. Okay. And now this is looking very nice. So that is the end of part two. And I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for part three. Don't forget to save your project, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.